Hello, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials and today we're going to be talking about what is Jira. If you're completely new to Jira or it's something that you're exploring or thinking about getting into, this video is going to be perfect for you. We're going to be talking about the highlights, we're going to look at a couple use cases, and we're going to be just kind of walking you through what is Jira and how you can be using it. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you drop a like. So Jira in a nutshell is a project and issue tracking software. It's pretty much like an agile based uh, software based uh, project management tool. Now that is what it is on the surface and Jira is so much more. Jira can be used for pretty much any type of project management um, and it is very very popular with companies that want to practice agile principles in their project management techniques, right? And so your traditional project management is great and effective, right? But where Jira shines and what sets Jira apart from other tools, right? Is that there's a lot of coordination and planning that you can do that you just simply don't get with other tools. Other tools from a project management perspective are really, really great like to-do lists, right? But with Jira, you're gonna get a lot of levers, a lot of fine tuning that you can do to basically hone the tool to your specific business or use case. Now, the greatest thing about Jira is probably its worst thing, right? Because it can do so much, right? It's infinitely customizable for pretty much any business use case. That's what makes configuring Jira a little bit tricky. So, which is why I started this channel, right? I wanna kind of walk you through a bunch of different use cases in future videos and show you how to use Jira from an end user perspective, but also from an administrative perspective, right? There's a lot of tweaking that can be done in Jira and you don't know what you don't know, right? So I'm gonna be trying to highlight and showcase some of the most common use cases and uses for Jira that I've seen over my last five years of using Jira. So let's jump into defining Jira a little bit and we're going to uh, look at what Atlassian has here. So out of the gate, one of the things that I wanna highlight, and this trips up a lot of people when I'm talking to them is, there's actually four different Jira products. So the one that I'm gonna be focusing on for this video and for this series of videos, just to get started, is gonna be Jira software. This is at last in's bread and butter. This is, when you think Jira, this is what you're thinking about. It's called Jira software, but don't let the software name like throw you off, right? Jira is very much a just a project and issue tracking piece of software, right? So it can be used for any type of project. Even though its foundations are primarily in software-based projects, any IT or really anything that you're trying to manage and you're just trying to do it in an agile fashion, you're gonna wanna be using Jira software. Now, if agile isn't your cup of tea, Jira work management is going to be one of these like, Again, it's within the still the same Jira interface, but you just don't get the same agileness to it, right? You don't get scrums and backlogs, right? You basically get to-do lists, right? You get to be able to manage your teams. Now, I'm not gonna be focusing too much on Jira work management because most of my clients and most of the people that I'm trying to help and reach out to are agile or practicing agile. But if Jira work management is something that you're interested in, please let me know in the comments and I'd be more than happy to make a couple of videos or video series on Jira work management. The last one here that I wanna highlight because I'm, I don't really wanna talk about Jira line too much, but Jira service management is going to be a third product that looks and feels just like Jira, but it has a slightly different purpose. Jira service management is gonna be for those that are managing intake forms, right? Maybe you have customers or clients that need to provide you some data, or maybe you have a constant stream of emails coming in with support tickets or support requests, right? Jira service management is gonna help you organize all that. Fortunately, all of these products work together and they're pretty much in the same interface and the configurations are very similar. So you only need like one admin to be able to do it all. And then the last product here is Jira Align. Now I'm not going to be talking a lot about Jira Align mainly because it is really, really hard to get a hold of Jira Align if you're not in, a, in some sort of like an enterprise plan, right? It is very expensive. It is for those organizations that whose agile maturity is at the scaled or safe agile framework level, right? And so I'm not gonna be creating a lot of content on here. Uh, at least I don't have access to Jira Online, but 
If Jira Align is something you are interested in, please let me know in the comments because I'd like to, I'd love to hear. It might be worth investing into. And so that's going to kind of help me determine if I go explore Jira Online or not. But at least for the focus of this channel, right, we're going to try to stay within the first three, which is going to be Jira Software, Work Management, and Service Management. Let's talk about a couple of use cases of Jira Software. So what's Jira Software used for? Um, there's this perfect article, which I'm going to drop in the description of this channel. There's uh, Atlassian has pretty much done a couple of um, use cases, right? Where they've gone out to their clients and they determined, what are you using Jira for? And so as I've been mentioning, right? Jira can pretty much be used for anything. If you have work to be done, which let's face it, any business that's in the business of making money has work to be done, right? You can put it in Jira. Now, how you use Jira can vary, right? And as you can see here, there's there's some variations. If you're you can use Jira for requirement and test case management. If you are an organization that is very driven by requirements, which a lot of organizations are, Jira is going to help you have some visibility and tracking into your requirements and your test cases so that you can see how the requirements that are defined up front how the test cases are verifying and validating those requirements. Also, from an Agile Teams perspective, right? Again, this is really where Jira shines, where you have these templates built in with respect to Scrum and Kanban style of Jira projects that really help you and your team implement the theory of Agile into an actual execution of Agile. And so Jira is gonna be perfect for these kind of teams because it takes all the theories of like, hey, this is what an epic, a story, this is how you plan a sprint, this is some capacities. And Jira gives you the tools to legitimately just like actually practice that methodology. And so this is really, I would say where 99% of the teams that I work with, this is how they're leveraging Agile, Jira, right? They're leveraging Jira so that they can carry out their agile best practices that their organization has set forth. Now, as I was mentioning, right, Jira doesn't have to be for software, right? Uh, project management, Jira is not going to discriminate. So any kind of project you want to throw at it, whether you're doing agile or not, that's up to you. But Jira is going to give you the tools to basically handle pretty much any kind of project. Obviously, with respect to software development, this is where it's really going to shine. So Jira, what sets Jira apart too, is it's tight integration with what Jira calls CI CD tools, right? And the CI CD tools, like your team city, your Jenkins, right? These are your build uh, tools and then your Git repositories, right? So whether you're integrating with Bitbucket, who's also made by Atlassian or GitHub, right? You're going to be able to have a holistic view of the entire pipeline of your software deliverable. So this is really where Jira excels at, right? Jira is designed for this, right? Jira makes this super, super easy and super, super effective. So if you're a software development team and you're not on Jira, I urge you to pause this video and go get yourself on Jira because you are not going to regret it. Um, from a DevOps team, again, these are kind of just a couple of other use cases. Just Jira can be used for so much, right? It integrates with services. It integrates with a bunch of different tools. There's, I don't know, 3000 plugins in the um, Atlassian marketplace, right? That allows you to really augment the, the capabilities of Jira. And so um, there's so much that you can do here, so much that Jira is used for. And this series of videos here is really going to be designed to kind of help highlight some of the best practices. I am fortunate enough to work with hundreds of teams and I've seen Jira used across a variety of different use cases, right? So my job in these series of videos that I'm going to be producing here is to kind of give you a deeper understanding and appreciation for how your team can use Jira. And I'm hoping to gain one of two things. One is just share what I know, right? Share my expertise in the tool and maybe um, guide you in the right direction. But I think what's more valuable to me is helping you understand the tool so that you can then digest that and understand or come to a realization of, am I using Jira appropriately? And this is a very difficult question to answer because with all the folks that I work with, uh, with respect to Jira, a common question that I'm always getting is, am I doing this correctly? Am I using Jira correctly? And that is a very challenging question because there is, while there are some blatantly like wrong ways of doing things, there's not a lot of like well-defined, this is the way, right? This is the way this has to be done to ensure success. Every client and customer and partner that I work with, Jira is customized to their specific individual 
like culture, to the way they work things, the, their processes, how they see the view of the world. And this is what's key about Jira, right? Because there is no silver bullet when we're talking about Jira. You are really going to want to engage with an expert like myself to have a more uh, personalized discussion about how you're using Jira and how Jira can be configured to work for you. Because my tagline here is, I make Jira work for you. I know Jira very intimately and I know the ins and outs and I know what it can and cannot do. And what I specialize in is coming into a business understanding the requirements, how they plan on using Jira, and then craft Jira to work for that use case. So with that said, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what Jira is. My next videos are gonna start going a little bit more technical. They're gonna start going into Jira itself, and we're gonna really start exploring the interface, and we're going to see how we can use Jira. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.